Greetings, peace and blessings. Instagram, how are you all today on this beautiful Tuesday morning? It's family day. Uh, here in the in our in our household, we we have family day on Tuesdays, and so here we are. Here we are, and I am Sister Yatira, the First Lady of Art Money Network. Um, excited to be here for this self improvement discussion. Uh, day four and things are continuously going well this has been a beautiful journey for me and it continues to help me um, even after the live is over because this is a this is a way of life for me you know self-improvement is the basis for community development and so I take that very seriously and I'm learning more about myself and the importance of self-improvement and getting down to the root of just getting into self more. And as I'm doing that, I am finding myself being able to serve others. I am Chef D. Marie. Oh, or is it Mary? I Peace and blessings. Thank you for tuning in with me this morning. Um, just a conversation here on self-improvement. And I'm just speaking on how, you know, I really, as I continue to grow in this space, how I really, really love um, learning and growing because that's what it's about. And how, as I am going on my journey with self-improvement, how I am finding it easier or finding myself more of service to be able to service and help others, that's I'm late concern, um, by by serving myself first. You know, I think a lot of things become cliches, if you will, where we were either we say things like, you know, a charity starts at home, but we don't, Walaikum Salam King. Thank you for tuning in. Um, but we don't always go into what that means on a broader sense. You know, charity starts at home. But what does that mean going into these kind of discussions? And so for me personally, the things... Thank you. <laughs> thank you, sir. Oh, you don't get bashful when your husband gives you compliments. So, but um, thank you. Um, I guess I, you know, as I talk about myself in this way, I really, really... No, ma'am. I really, really enjoy, you know having these conversations and sharing a piece of myself and my story with others because, you know, I really want to be able to help others. I really want to be able to service others. And I really want to be able to uh, be used in my life in this way, you know? And so have a seat. <laughs> and so, um, yes, so that's, that's that. So we've, we've been here for a few days and uh, I explained a few days ago how I haven't, you know, the last few lives that I have done for self-improvement, you know, I don't, I hadn't taken notes or anything like that, but today's topic came to me while I, I don't even remember what I was doing, but as soon as I got to paper and pen, because it came earlier, I think the last few times it came, you know. The one came the night before, just the title of it. The other one, the subject came, you know, like that morning. Uh, because, and this is how it started for me five years ago when I used to do this, right? And again, they weren't self-improvement titled streams. I was just doing my regular routine. I was just doing my regular thing. The the thoughts or the epiphanies or the, the, the realization of certain things in my life was happening. And I just felt the need to share it with others in particular women, because again, what I was going through at that time was something that I felt like was specifically for women and I wanted to reach other women. Um, and so now it's the same thing where I'm just, you know, just more intentional with it. And that's why it's, it's a whole, you know, I'm, I'm actually promoting it and letting people know that it's a conversation of self-improvement. So it's not about me. I'm, I'm, I'm a life coach. You know, I'm not a counselor. I'm a sister in the classroom. You know, I'm in the university of God, right? And I'm willing to submit to this course 
of self-improvement so that I can attain Godhood, so that I can be all that God intends for me to be. And if I, and I believe in my heart that by having some some transparent conversations and by sharing my story in a way that encourages conversations with others, that we can help quicken the spirit in each of us to to focus on self more. You know, in life, we can easily find different things. Oh, assalamu alaikum, Sister Mariam. Thank you for tuning in. Oh, praise be to Allah. I love you. But your beautiful self. And so, um, you know, I just believe that with these kind of conversations, we can help to quicken the spirit within ourselves to focus on ourselves. I was going to say that I think it's easy for us to, uh, oh, wa alaikum salam, beautiful. I'm a reflection of you. And that's a fact. Um, I think it's easy for us to focus on what other people, you know, to point at what other people are doing, right? I love you back. Uh, and I think that it's, it, because it's so easy, it's harder then to turn that mirror or turn that critical eye on ourselves. You know, it's sometimes very difficult to deal with self if we don't have the proper knowledge, understanding, or perspective of ourself, right? And so as I am going through my journey, again, I just think that if we have these conversations and we can help inspire and encourage these kind of changes in us, then we can change things overnight virtually. And the reason why I believe that again is because, you know, I have looked at and listened to the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan and what he has done year after year per every single time that he has opened his mouth that I have heard him speak, he's always encouraging and inspiring for us to deal with self in so many words. And he has done it for me personally. I have found that, I, that I'm always looking to say, what would, what would Farrakhan do? What would he say in a situation like this? How would he act, right? You know that good old saying, WWJD, what would Jesus do? Well, that's exactly how I have patterned my life after I found him, right? After he was introduced to me, after I was introduced to him rather. And when I listening and, and functioning like that, it has caused me to get on this course of self-improvement. And like I said, here I am today wanting to have these conversations. So like I said, over the last few days, I have not written anything, but Oh, praise be to Allah. See, that's what I need. This is the confirmation for me. Knowing that this is beneficial to you, sis, that's what this is about for me. You know, and I even put it in the description on the flyer that I made that the discussion is not about me. It, you know, I'm using me to be used. I'm not using me. I have I, I have literally on my prayer rug asked Allah to, and I say to him literally these words, remove myself. Please, Allah, let me be a vessel that you can use to reach your people. Because even though I say I love you all, and I do, I know that it's only because of Allah that I do, right? And I know that he has fashioned me for this time period. And so, you know, it's only because of him that I'm here. So I just wanted to, uh, you know, share that, that I'm, I'm grateful to hear that I'm doing you know, what he desires for me to do. And that's why I put in it, this is a discussion. I may be sparking the discussion because I'm just talking about myself. Again, not as a life coach, not as a this, you know, I'm not here, I'm not Ayanla, I'm not here to fix your life, but I'm here to inspire you that you can fix your life because by the grace of Allah, I have been able to fix mine and continue to fix it. It's not perfect yet, but the goal is perfection and we can attain, we can attain perfection in this lifetime. Perfection is not some far off, distant, eons, a thousand year goal. It's this lifetime, right? If you listed the, the, the impediments that you and I identify within ourselves that are imperfect, if we say, oh, okay, I don't, you know, if you're Muslim, for example, oh, I don't make all my prayers, I don't eat properly, I'm not, doing, you know, giving charity, uh, I, I might, I still might have some other gods besides the law happening in my life, whatever. Okay. Well, you list those things and you say, okay, well then I'm going to turn all this off tonight and turn this on tomorrow. Not that 
the the riches and the milk and honey is going to start pouring in tomorrow but in our minds this shift has happened where now we can position ourselves and continue in that direction to receive those things you know and so that's just a perspective and that's just how i see that for me but but to me perfection and we witness that in examples like the honorable minister louis farrakhan right if we just submit to the process that he has laid out before us we too can have this divine way of life this heavenly life that we can have if we just submit in the way that he carries his own atmosphere we can do the same thing so like i said uh as the thoughts were coming to me you know we say you know god spoke to me well did you what do you mean god spoke to you did you hear a voice in your head you know well it was my voice you know <laughs> it was but but he lives inside of me so where did that thought come from you know this is me being in tune with the inner god with the inner self with with allah me being connected to him when the thought came i said oh i caught it i got it lord let me write it down so i did and the title of this one is let go and let god and so when god speaks this is what i wrote down i listen you know and that's that's something that's part of the let go and let god in my self-improvement journey there's been times in my life where allah is speaking to me the way that he did for me to write this, the way that he did to inspire me to, to start these lives, the way that he did with a lot of things in my life. But part of my self-improvement journey has meant that at one point in time when he was telling me to do something, I'm like, oh no, I'm not doing that. No, not me. I can't do that. Why are you going to ask me to do that? The, I will look crazy. Do you know what they're going to say about me? Uh, I'm going to look different. But why? why I got to be the one to do it? Well, can't I, and can, okay, you know what, Lord, I'm not going to do that, okay, but I, I'll raise you one better. This is me talking to God. This is my self-improvement journey. I'm just sharing it with you. And so I'm like, Lord, I'm not, I'm, I know that you, you, you said me, but I, I think that you kind of forgot, or maybe you just, you know, maybe you, maybe you forgot who, who I was or who I am. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to inspire somebody who's really close to me to do what you're asking me to do. And I'm going to support them, Right. I want them to do it. I want them to do your will because you want it done. So, right, Lord, you don't care who does it. You just want it done. So I'm going to inspire them to do it. I'm going to put the idea over there. And I hope that uh, they pick it up and then I'm going to urge them and I'll be the support to them, right? Sounds like Moses and Aaron, right? <laughs> Moses is like, Lord, I got a, I got a speech impediment. I'm not an eloquent speaker. Get Aaron. You know what I'm saying? He, he, can, he can do it. You know, I'll go with him. I saw him Brother Jason. Thank you for tuning in, sir. Good to see you this morning. And so that this is me as I was learning and growing. And this is where my faith continues to grow because that ain't, that's not, that's not how it works. You know I'm saying when he wants you to do something, he wants you to do what he is calling you to do because he's the one who fashioned us. He fashioned me in the womb of my mother. He knew the circumstances and the conditions of my life. He created them right he allowed this the 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 events in my life to happen for me so that i would be shaped for this time and for his purpose i am his servant is he gives us humans you know the ability to submit he gives us free will but he still in that shapes everything everything is still lined up right? It's lined up for us. If we submit, then these things will make sense. Oh, I went through that so I could do this, right? And that's exactly what it's been for me. I went through a, you know, a lot coming into the nation. Uh, I shared with you all yesterday, the story <clears throat> about when I came into the nation and some of the trials that I got as soon as I joined my first Savior's Day, when I came home, you have to go back to listen to the, uh, the one from yesterday. That one was titled, was it prayer? Um, oh, testimony. That was yesterday was testimony. So, but I, I'm, I'm just sharing now the let go and let God. And so as I did that, as I do that, I'm still in the process now. There's still things that's, you know, new, you know, what they say, every level, new level, new devil, you know, so there's new things that I have to overcome. But each time that I have overcome and each time that he has told me to do something that made me feel uncomfortable or say this is outside of my comfort zone and I did it the reward was like wow you did it a lot okay 
okay, I can, I can do this. As long as you're with me. Now, don't leave me. <laughs> and it's not that he leaves us. It's that we leave him because he's always there. But when, what I found is that when I was down and out, not consistent with my prayers, having a hard time stopping what I wanted to do or what I thought was important or what I felt like doing or what was convenient. And when I couldn't stop what I was doing to go pray, this intensified in me, the, the, the anxiety, the stress, the burden on my mind, the, the, the lack of determination, right? It, it was gone. I was restless last night, spirit troubled, and Allah guided me to, to you to listen. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, sister. Thank you so much for sharing that. Praise be to Allah. Allah is the greatest. Wow. My heart is, is uh, skipping beats over here. Praise be to Allah. I'm, I'm grateful that Allah sees fit to use me in some kind of way to be able to share something of value for you. And I pray that the words that Allah is having me to speak speaks to you and helps you sister and you know as you, as your sister I'm here you know to you know talk even though I'm not a life coach you know I am a sister and let me say this I'm a firm believer in this and people I message people all the time and so they can bear me witness that I'm a firm believer that as believers in God we have rights to one another I I firmly believe that you know and and to me, that means that if there's something that you are going through, I am going through, we are going through, that we have rights to one another. We, we are duty bound to serve the next believer if we are able. That's just what I'm here to do. Let me tell you, I was, I was 10 years old, nine or 10, when I knew that I was here to serve. At nine or 10 years old, family, I'm telling you, my my dream, what do you want to be when you grow up? I was looking at Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. May Allah be pleased with our brother. That's who I wanted to be, a servant at the expense of my own life. I didn't even understand fully what the man was about. All I know is he stood for justice. He stood for rights. He stood for freedom. He stood for equality. And at that time, I couldn't have put it in those words. But I was willing to do it. And when I told my younger sister that, she said, but but he was killed. And I said, just point blank outright to her. Well, if that has to happen, it has to happen. Right? When I look back, I'm like, this is the way that I am is it's purely from a lot. I can take no credit for it. And so I, I'm learning now today to stand in that being myself, accept your own and be yourself. Peace and blessings, Sister Felicia, my beautiful sister. Oh my goodness, I love y'all. Y'all give me, make me smile, but you know, it's just beautiful seeing y'all on here at this time. But that's what it's about. You know, that was that's what my self-improvement journey has been about. Service to others. So thank you for sharing that with me. That means so much and it's confirmation for me again. You know, and Allah's merciful. You know, He knows what we need and when we need we need it. It's amazing because on sometimes, you know, sometimes. People listen to the lives later and, you know, sometimes their, their, their comments aren't there, but on day one of my live streams here, I ended up having two phone calls with sisters that were going through something that I spoke on. So Allah was confirming it in, you know, in different ways. So again, I'm just grateful that you're here and I'm grateful to be used. So thank you for letting me know that I'm being used. So praise be to Allah. Um, we're, we're on let go and let God. That's, that's the, 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 the subject matter today that I'm speaking on for my own self, right? Other people, man, I wrote other people down to make sure I love you more that as I'm talking about self-improvement in order for me to deal with what other people are going to say and do, I have to deal with me first. This is why self-improvement is so important. What do I mean by self first? You know that self talk that comes up in our minds when, when like, I, like I was sharing with you, God telling me to do something and I'm like, no, that's, that's not me. I'm not, you know, I'm not the best looking one. You don't want me to do that. I'm not the most 
well-spoken. You don't want me to do that. I'm not the most well-liked. I'm not the most popular. I have radical beliefs or, you know, I'm too strong in this way or I'm too weak in this way. Those self, what did I write? Self first. You have the doubt, right? You have disbelief sometimes in your own self. Peace and blessings, Jamie. Thank you for tuning in, beloved. You have uh, negative self-talk sometimes. Negative self-talk, pride. Oof, oof, oof. Lord, I pray regularly. I'm like, ego, get rid of that. I don't want it. I don't want it. I recognize that I see it in myself. You know, at times it comes out more than others and I don't like it. I don't want it, but I realize that it's there. And it's okay to realize that it's there, realize that it's there. But if you, if you and I try to, you know, say that it's not there, then how are we going to overcome? How are we going to be better? How are we going to actually get better at it if we keep telling ourselves that it's not there? So no, this is not a, I come before you as a perfect person. Absolutely no, not. How could I be? I'm, you know, I'm, I'm striving for perfection, but it starts with self. And I'm willing to look in the mirror and say, what, did I, what, what I don't like about this? How can I improve? What could I do better? What can I do better? Not what somebody can do better for me. Oh, well, if they talk to me like this, then maybe I would have done. No, I don't want that. I, I want to be in a space where, and this is where I, I'm growing to be, that it doesn't matter what somebody else says to me, what space they come from. They can say something to me that's truthful, but can be very mean or ugly or in a hateful spirit. But is it true? I'm willing to take that. I don't have to, I don't have to return that, you know, vile speech with vile speech. I don't have to return that. that that's other than myself. I don't want to be that. If you're going to be ugly, you can be ugly. I don't want to be ugly. Even if you're relaying a message to me, if you're relaying a message to me that that needs to be said to me and you say it in a, in a rude way, okay, you know, maybe you didn't have to say it rude, but was the message that you were telling me truthful? Okay, well, then I'll have to take it. You know, I got to take it. I got to rise above the emotions into the thinking of God. God has emotions, but he don't sit and dwell in them and swim around in them and drown in them and make decisions from them. If that was the case, why would the earth still be here? Why would there even be people here with how we have been so far removed from God? You know what I'm saying? So I have to deal with self first so that when these things came up, the self-defeat, right? You, you, oh, you know, you can't do that. You ain't that good at this. There's somebody else better than you. You ain't, you ain't all that. They gonna think that you just said, these are the thoughts that goes on in our minds when we are striving to do good things, right things, different things that will be useful or helpful to others. We, ha we have to get out of that for ourselves first. After you accomplish that with yourself first, well, the, that's half the battle. <laughs> because now you're gonna, as you put yourself out there in whatever you're doing, then you're going to have other people, right? And that's why I wrote down other people because they come next. Brother Jason, yes, man, very important daily information about self. That's right, sir. Praise be to Allah. So we have to deal with ourselves so that when we're going out and other people give their thoughts. Let me tell you something. I was, um, last year I launched my YouTube channel. Now I opened up this channel. I created this channel rather like four years ago. And I said, I'm going to, it's called Speaking in Life with Cecilia Tierra, which I use occasionally. I still haven't, you know, fully used it, but I finally did start, right? And when I made a post about it, you know, I'm letting people know that this is something that I'm doing. You would be surprised, you know, at some of the things said, you know, why, you know, why are you going to do that? You know, it's not needed or, you know, people, my point is that people give their view on it. Maybe it's not what they're willing to do. So, so they, you know, so sometimes they're going to speak that on you. Well, why are you going to do that? Why are you going to waste your time doing something like that? I wouldn't do that, but the message wasn't given to you to do. So, but these are things for self. I have to be content that God gave me something and he gave it to me. It wasn't a conference call. He didn't say, I'm calling you up and I'm going to get a couple of y'all on the line and I'm, and I'm going to, you know, hear, I hereby dub this person and I want everybody to know that I'm doing it so y'all don't give her no, no slack, no hard time. Absolutely not. 
It's not a conference call. He gives it to you. You either hear and obey or you don't. I either hear and obey or I don't, right? But we got to get that self right and be willing to go through these different things on a self basis. What else did he have me write down? Um, surprise thoughts. Oh, you would be surprised at the thoughts that come up in your own mind. Again, as you're moving through and doing these different things. So when it comes to let go and let God, let go and let God. <laughs> it is not just that, you know, I like to use these things because we have the answers. Sometimes it just takes the conversations to really get into them and unlock them so that we can actually use the power of them. Let go and let God to me wasn't a matter of, oh, I can just negate it. God is going to magically take care of it. No, this is the assignment. Let go of the fear. Let go of the anxiety. Let just be easy. Come on, that, that part. Let go and let God just be easy. Peace and blessings. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> right on time. That's it, Sister Mariam said. Praise be to Allah family. But that's, that's all I wanted to say today. Let go and let God. Whatever your assignment is, do it. Is there fear? Sure, maybe. Let go and let God. Let God what? Let him guide you. Let him be your defender. He is the great defender. He is the perfect. He is, he is the supreme in all of his attributes, right? We can wear his attributes, but he is supreme in them. So let go of fear, anxiety, frustration, depression. Let it go worries, stress, let it go and let God take you to new heights with your faith. He will increase your faith. Move with him. If you're afraid, that's okay. Self-talk, I'm afraid, that's okay. We're gonna still move. I'm concerned, that's okay. Still move, let go and let God. That's it for me today, family. I got like I told y'all yesterday. Uh, I'm I'm a, I'm a whole full home t a full time wife, mother, teacher, and everything else that falls into that category, businesswoman, etc. And so it's time to get uh, our daughter prepared for her drill class. So thank you for being with me today. We will be back tomorrow morning, the same time, seven o'clock a.m. with your sister. I'm just your little sister in this big university. God's classroom. Sister Yatira X, the First Lady of Fart Money Network, and I'm signing off. Love you. Have a wonderful day. Peace and blessings. Okay? <laughs>